Hi fifth graders, today you are going to use your knowledge from the last three days and you are going to be ordering fractions on the number line. So your instructions are to drag and drop the fractions into the correct place on the number line. So you're gonna to have to do some conversions to figure it out. So this is going to be an example problem. So I have, um, let me get my little drawing tool out here. I have one and one fourth. I have two fourths. I have seven fourths. I have a mixed number. I have a proper fraction and I have an improper fraction. But I'm also noticing that all of my denominators are four. So that is going to be really helpful when I'm ordering fractions. I don't have to change um, any of those denominators into any equivalent fractions. I'm just working on ordering on the number line. So I've got one and one fourth, and if you remember from your um, slides, um, your things to keep in mind were if the numerator is smaller than the denominator, then it is less than one. But also a mixed number and improper fraction are always going to be more than one. But you're going to have to do a conversion to figure out if it's more than one, more than two, more than three, etc. So I know that my mixed number and my improper fraction are more than one. And my proper fraction that has the smaller numerator than the denominator is going to be less than one. For this example problem, I only have three uh, fractions that I'm dealing with. And I just said that I know that this is going to be more than one, this mixed number. This is going to be more than one. So I only have one that's less than one. So that's going to make it really easy for when I'm dragging and dropping. I know that that's my only one that's less than one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag and drop right here. It is less than one. And we're going to um, be talking about where to place them on the number line more um, in the next few weeks here. But I actually know that this is the exact correct spot because two-fourths is the same as one-half. And this is halfway between zero and one. But we're going to get to that more the next few weeks. So now I'm just left. I'm going to go ahead and erase um, all my circles up here. I've got seven-fourths, so I have an improper fraction. And they have one and one fourth. So I know that these are both more than one, but I need to figure out are any of them more than two or if they're both between one and two, where am I going to put them? So you can do either conversion. I personally think that going from an improper fraction to a mixed number is easiest when you are ordering on a number line. But like I said, you can go from a mixed number to an improper fraction or an improper fraction to a mixed number. So you are going to, let me grab my tools back up here. If you are going to go from the improper fraction to a mixed number, you are going to draw your little mixed number denominator combo over here. Remember, your first step is you're going to use the same denominator. So our denominator is still going to be 4. Now I'm going to write out my multiples. I've got, of your denominator, I've got 4, 8, Oh, my second multiple is already bigger than my numerator. So I'm going to just circle my four. And I only have one circle here. So uh, my whole number is going to be one because I only had one multiple that is less than the numerator. So what I'm going to do now is I need to figure out um, what my numerator is. And remember to do that, you're going to take your old numerator, your numerator from your improper fraction. And from that, you're going to subtract the biggest number that you circled. And we only circled one number, so we're gonna subtract four from seven. When we do seven minus four, we get three. So seven fourths is equal to one and three fourths. So I have one and three fourths, and I have one and one fourth, and I have to figure out which, where to put them in what spots. So I'm going to look, and I know that I have the same whole number and the same denominator. So I get to look at my numerators. One is a smaller number than three. 
So I know that one and one fourths is going to be smaller than one and three fourths. It's bigger than one, it's smaller than two, and it's smaller than one and three fourths, which is what seven fourths is equal to. So again, this is a refresher video for if you just needed a little bit more help after our um, small group together. Um, you can watch this so that you know exactly how to do your seesaw assignment.